hello my amazing people of god and welcome back to gloria emmanuel god bless every one of you my old subscribers god bless you my year to join the family i appreciate every one of you god bless every one of you abundantly please as you're subscribing to this channel i want you to subscribe to jesus christ was seated he was a pastor of a church and God was using him mightily true story but back at home things were not working well especially financially things were a bit rough and yet he would sit down and the wife would sit down and they would hear testimonies of marvelous things that God was doing changing the lives of people and people would clap but that man sat down there and there was fire on the mountain in his own house one time during a service like this the wife just got up and walked out of the meeting the man was done finished his counseling and ran back home my wife what happened did i offend you did i say something during the message she didn't say anything and then he sat at table to eat and he noticed that the plates that she was using to serve him you know those women have those holy of holies <laughs> plates that only come out when there's a triumphant entry so that <laughs> <laughs> praise the lord now watch this she brought those plates and served him and he kept asking what happened did i offend you we can talk about this she didn't say anything finally when she brought the last item kept it on the table she got down on her knees and she said servant of god my home is in trouble suddenly the man said the same anointing he used to feel in the church came upon him on that dining table and he laid hands not now not on the wife that grace do you know because every time he was at home he was a husband so the anointing for priesthood did not find expression to bring breakthrough the woman was now wise and saying you are my husband but you are also a man of god today is not my husband i'm feeding i'm tired of feeding my husband and receiving compassion i need results so let me let me honor that let me tell you this listen everybody you see is multi-dimensional the dimension you honor is the dimension that delivers to you your father can be a prophet and he can be blessing the nations and never see anything for your life your ceo can have a powerful signature that has war betides a man who can explain everything about his lifting it's not god that lifted you whether political there must be a gap that only the size of god can fill in your story there must be if it's god no matter how you calculate it there must be a space where you will tell people honestly this is where i stop i don't know how this one happened he does it like that so that men will fear him the sovereignty of god should not replace our loyalty to principles but let me tell you this the best of us in obeying these principles will still default because we are humans so while he's watching you his, his power is trailing you and when he looks at you and he sees that time is going and the unit of destiny is time he will say son let me pick you and this is how he will carry you let me speak to someone this night already in the name of jesus who is the lifter of men i decree and declare in no time your world will look at you with shock and wonder may the lifter of men lift you may the lifter of men lift you one area i know where only god can truly explain is the lifting of men there is a science to wealth and prosperity you can sit down and provide value here and there and then you just have resources but when it has to do with lifting the variables are many you can do everything right 
and you are ready for promotion and someone says because you are this tribe or this gender i had a problem with your father because he died since he's not around you are the one who will pay the price and god says who is who is who is attempting to be me there Do you believe what I'm sharing tonight? Because you see, sometimes believers become so afraid just because of the things men say. Oh, you won't rise. Oh, oh come on. We're talking God. Every one of us seated here, respectfully speaking, and I, mean, I do not mean to insult your pedigree in any way, but every one of us seated here was once a baby in the hands of a woman. None of us here is an ancient of days. Even Satan is older than us. But there is an ancient monarch. He's been sitting for a very long time. He has watched proud kings rise and fall. He has watched humble people from their lowly estate. He's lifted. He has watched this thing. He's seen poor people lifted in one day. He's seen men in Samaria say, if God opens this window, so when God says by tomorrow, Monday, you will return rejoicing. Be careful to not make the mistake that was made in Samaria. Listen to me. Believers, the God we serve is not a governor. The God we serve is not a president. And there's nothing wrong with this. The God we serve is not an ambassador of a place. The God we serve was not given land to occupy he was not voted into power the, you have to understand this about god the bible says in the beginning not from the beginning we don't even know what happened when moses was writing he said where do i start this from he just said in the beginning he couldn't have said from the beginning in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth where was he before he created them because he was not in the heavens, he was not in the earth. The word eternity means the summation of infinite dispensations. We do not even know which one we are with respect to his blueprint. The, the devil that you are talking about, read your Bible. There was a time when he was not part of the equation. This is how genuine Bible faith comes. When you take away your eyes, for as long as you keep looking at that cancer, you are going to see a legitimate medical report. You will see testimonies for as long as you look at that financial situation. The three uncles that will help you have vowed that it's better for them to die than help you. So already you know that nobody is coming to help you there. Then you come to God and God says, please, I have spoken once. I don't speak twice. Go and hear again. The monarch. I have watched how we celebrate kings on earth. I've had the honor and the privilege of meeting a few. And I am amazed at the skill and the energy that is invested to force us to believe that they are great people some people can use the skill of a shout hail the king and they push and flog you away no matter who you are clear the way for the king whether it's yoruba Igbo, or in the north here the emirate systems we watch the way we celebrate kings nothing matters when they are coming you get out of the way or they deal with you decisively and whilst the man is watching they fan him hail the king and he's smiling this is a human being no? not a spirit and we fan them and then he looks at people and says by tomorrow give these people rise and everybody is jumping because the man spoke that he will bless you they know he's rich they don't even know how much yet the man himself is still looking for money the man himself may still be having problems in his house 
but just with respect to what he has we celebrate before you receive from God find out who is talking to you find out who is saying I will bless you find out who is saying I will exalt you above the nations of the earth did he not know that visa is hard when he spoke did he not know that your loved ones may have gone and left you alone Hebrews 11 and verse 6 he that cometh to him must come believing two things number one Hebrews 11 verse 6 please give it to us that he is that means he exists some of you are yet to be sure this God is he really alive he wants to answer you tonight because you've been asking that thing for a long time thank you for watching if the video interests you please share